Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome again to another session of Tech Talking with Bay and... <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another session in Take Talking with B. Okay, hi to our subscribers and viewers and today we are going to talk about something that's very relatable to people who work in call centers. Um, so just as the background, so I and Bay and Ginger have actually worked, um, you know, for years in a call center. I don't know if I forgot my guests! Mahal na na dito ako nga. Asa ni mo na pinag-insert si Gina Oe? O si Gina. So today we have a guest, Precious Pidad, a local writer here in Cebu. So she'll be joining us and sharing her own experiences when she was working in the call center industry. Hi! So the four of us have actually worked as call center agents one at one point in our lives and we have been working as agents and team leads and trainers for years. So we would just like to share our own experiences to you guys to how we started and how we joined this industry. First call center interview experience. How was your first call center interview experience? I failed the listening exam. Um, I had to actually um, take it, I think, three or four times. Um, I already have gone through the final interview, but then the trainer said um, I was really good during the interview, but then she could not um, endorse me to training because I failed the listening exam. At that time, I thought to myself that I really had a problem with my my ears because I couldn't pass it and that wasn't the first inter uh, that wasn't the first um, listening exam that I failed um, I went on and then applied for another um, uh, call center and then I failed the same exam <laughs> listening skill there I had a, <laughs> so, a problem <laughs> and then after that I just you know admitted it now okay I have a listening problem <laughs> Therefore, you conclude that you have ears problem. Die. <laughs> so, my first um, call center interview experience was in a job fair. So I was, it was back in college. Um, it was just, you know, one summer when I, I wanted to do a part-time and take a part-time job. So I went to this um, job fair in SM. And I finished actually the entire thing, um, hiring process, and reached the final stage. However, for um, I, I, they did not disclose why I failed the interview, but I guess the thing that I, I actually you know understood from it is that I actually did mention that I'm still planning to go to school after that summer. So maybe they thought I wasn't much of an, an, an investment. <laughs> <laughs> so my first interview was, um, you know, um, it's not really that I want it, but um, because of my friends, um, you know, push that um, they want me to apply in a, you know, in this industry. I'm, I'm trying to look for a part-time job because that company, um, I've heard that they're accepting um, um, graduating students. Um, I failed the interview. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of one question that I don't understand, um, I admit that, you know, my English speaking skills that time is not really good. You know, the English is like, you know, my name is Boyet Hamri, I'm pretty and beautiful, just like that. Compared, to <laughs> they asked me, the question was, are you a morning person or a night person? I don't understand. <laughs> So I just said, um, I'm a night person because I sleep all night, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my God. Uh, oh, honestly, then 
they laughed at me. My God! Nakakaya. That's a panel interview pa, Jude. <laughs> and then I, 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 I told myself I will not apply um, in a call center anymore after that experience. But my God, look at me now. <laughs> Sorry to that company. <laughs> um, my first was actually because I was in college around that time. We were actually at the same school with Gina, and I was failing my uh, programming subjects really bad. <laughs> so, so my so my uh, sponsor didn't want to pay for my school anymore because I was I wasn't doing really well at school. So I had to find a job. I, I didn't have any experience. I, I didn't know what to expect. And and then I went there for my interview, and then at the end of the uh, application process, they just talked to me and they said, "Hi, uh, I think your English is not good enough." <laughs> and I was like, what? "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> the feeling is mutual. So we all fail. In fairness, we all fail, and we meet in with pro. So that's I think that's the reason behind we behind we all fail on the interview. Charot para makita tatanan sa ko ang ko asa matara charot. Guys, I think we all have the same experience. Though we all failed our first interviews, but that's not a bad thing. So for those who are actually planning to join the industry, there are really chances, or it's it's possible that on your first try you might actually fail interviews because it's something new to you, especially you know speaking English. Um, in a casual way and that's how the interview usually goes yeah so never stop trying if you want to join this industry it's a lot of fun but yeah don't be discouraged if ever you fail your first interview just try again and for another company it's my first job and then you know i'm excited in a way that i will meet new friends um colleagues you know office mates and then from different walks and Works of life. Um, um, mine, uh, I, actually, surprisingly, uh, Georgian and I were in the same school back in college, and we were also in the same company. <laughs> did you guys <laughs> talk? <laughs> did you guys talk and then decide to apply in one center? Or no? I followed her around, actually. Yeah. Yeah, remember, Hamrin, you have this friend who follows you around? That's Gina for me. Yes. <laughs> And then when we moved to the one in Ayala, she also followed. Yes. <laughs> you guys are friends. Oh my god, Gina. Are you going to Denmark? <laughs> I follow her around. <laughs> I used to get crushed with their tagay during my school. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, so when I joined that company, um, it, I was excited but I was also anxious as a, as a uh, damn, when I joined. <laughs> <laughs> when I joined the company, I was actually excited and anxious at, at the same time because it's the first for me. So it's my first job and uh, especially when I entered the room, we were already told that we have to speak in English at all times. So that was really a challenge for me because even though I, I read English books, watch English movies, I am not accustomed to speaking in English, like especially in casual conversations. If you can just let me read something, I, I, that would be fine, but casual conversation like asking for what a tissue or something, I that I feel awkward just you know speaking in English. Also, when I entered the room, most of the people in my batch were quite uh, mature, so I felt a little you know uh, and a little insecure because I felt that I didn't have enough experience. But luckily, the batch was very accommodating. They helped me a lot get through the entire training phase. So. It, it was a good experience, but that was my first day. So um, I went to Manila and then I applied for this um, call center company in Makati. And then um, I got hired, luckily, because they did not have the the listening exam. <laughs> <laughs> they only had the written exam and then a lot of interviews. They, there were um, actually, I think, two panel interviews I had to go through and then it's like fish I felt like I was a, I was a fish, fish out of the water because first of all, it was in Makati and then people were talking in Tagalog 
and then I was Bisaya, <laughs> and then I was this Provinciana girl, you know, I have that vibe, that aura. So I was really like, I'm not really ignorant, but I didn't, I did not know a lot of things. In nature, I am a confident person. So in a crowd, I don't really like shy away. But then at that time, since they were like talking like, oh, this and that, and they have this intonation, right? So it's like, oh my gosh, they're so good. So I was really um, insecure. It was a really overwhelming experience, but then it was very educational as well. Okay, yes. okay thank you. Well said. Very well said, oh, oh, precious. Well said. Well said. Well said. Well said. Well said. Everything was new, it was very different. But at the same time, the batch that I was, um, everyone was newbie, so we all kind of felt the same and we were in the same level, I would say. So in that way, you kind of get um, that calm feeling that everyone is in the same level and you're going to be learning the same thing. Uh, so that was, I think, good because then I didn't feel pressure somehow. I also felt pressure that I need to make it because I already had previous interviews where I was turned down. So I felt like now I've actually gone through the application, I got hired. And now I actually have to make it through training to actually stay in this company. But uh, newsflash, I also got terminated in that company <laughs> after a training. <laughs> I did not pass. We have this final exam where you talk to an actual customer and it was so scary. I was shaking. And then it was annoying because the only thing is I could have passed if we rounded my scores. It was something like one point. But then the, the quality that was there during that time really said, no, no, we're not going to round off any score. She didn't reach the score, so she failed. Everyone who got terminated that day, we took our last pay and then we went to a bakery. <laughs> to <eat. laughs> I thought you went to a bar or something. <laughs> bakery. <laughs> I didn't know, Jer, that you actually had a short spin. Ah, there. I did actually... Funny thing, I don't declare it on my CV before. <laughs> BGB! <laughs> because I didn't want <laughs> So, first mock call experience. Um, my first mock call, I'll go to another one. <laughs> so I can still remember that was Celine Paling. And then the, the, the... Uh, we can because we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I remember it as our trainer was acting as an irate caller. And I actually froze when uh, he asked the question. I would have failed without them. Yes, I would have. Oh my god, Gina. Your batchmates. 